documents are still at the core of business communications and PDF is the most loved format for all types of documents. In this video, I'm going to show you a PDF editor which is available for Mac and PC. This PDF editor is Wondershare PDF Element. Wondershare is a reputable company. This is an easy to use PDF editor where you can get results fast. It has many tools integrated into one software. It is a text and image editor, a PDF converter, PDF annotation tool. You can also build fillable PDF forms in PDF element. And you can also do batch processing where you convert a set of PDF files into one of many available formats such as PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and even you can convert a set of PDF files into an ebook format, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I have created some sample PDF files and I have divided this video into seven parts where I will be demonstrating various features of PDF element by giving you a step-by-step -step instructions. And after watching this video, you will be comfortable using this fantastic PDF editor. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools and I review many digital products. First of all, thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. I only review those products which in my opinion best suit my audience. So in the first part of the video, an overview of various tools available in this PDF editor. Then I will show you few examples of text and image editing. Then I will show you how to use convert tool in this editor. Then I will quickly show you how to merge PDF files. Then we will batch process PDF files into one of the available formats. Then I will show you how OCR works. And I have scans of two pages and I will use PDF element to extract text from those images and see how it works. And finally, I have a file of 21 MB size and we will see how PDF element can compress this file to a smaller size file. And I have created these seven folders in which I have some sample files, which I will be using to demonstrate various features of PDF element. You can get Wondershare PDF element from their website, pdf.wondershare.net. Open your account, click on free download. It will be an executable file. Just click on that and it will be installed. I have already installed this. So I click on that and these are some of the tools available in PDF element. I have already explained briefly. So we are going to start working on the file. So I click on back and this is the user interface. So I open a file. I have prepared this file. So I open this and to have a look at complete page, I click on view and then this icon fit to window size. And this is my PDF page. You can also insert blank pages in your PDF document. But first I am going to start from this left menu. As you can see, there are many menus available and all of these menus have various PDF tools, which you can use to annotate PDF files and to do various operations on PDF documents. So starting from this comment, as you can see that there are many tools available for annotating our PDF file. So first let us start from the left one, which is the highlighter tool. If I click on that and I select any text, that text will be highlighted. I have the options to change the colors. Then we have underline tool. Again, if I select any text that will be underlined. Similarly, we have this strikeout tool. And if I select this text now, a line will appear on the text. And if you don't want these annotation tools to stay here, you can click on this little arrow and now these tools will not be on your screen. And if you want them to stay, you click on this pin. Then we have various shapes. We can draw different shapes. We have this arrow tool. So let us undo this. Then this cloud tool is also very important because this is used to put comments in technical drawings. So you insert this cloud and then you put your comment inside that. So I click here, then I click second time, then third time I double click and then I put my text inside. 
let us undo this then we have three types of text tools available typewriter text box and call out so let me show you this text box and then we click anywhere and we put our text there this is very small so we can edit this so just make it a little bit large and now if i right click properties i have this dialog box on the right hand side where i can change font and font size and these kind of things for example i can select this text and change its font and we can adjust the width so let me delete this you can delete any annotation by selecting that and clicking the delete button so this is one way to delete annotations then we have this pencil tool the eraser tool you can insert some stamps pdf element also allows you to sign pdf document so if you want to put an indication where someone has to sign you can put this uh, stamp in that area where someone has to sign and then you can put a sign field here so these were some of the pdf annotation tools available in this comment menu and now let us click on this edit and for this i would like to open another file so i click on open and i open this file now i have two files open so let me close this file by clicking on this cross and i don't want to save it and before we could edit this file we have to turn this switch from read to edit and now as you can see that we have these clickable boxes from where we can do some editing for example if i want to resize this corner image i can do this it has been resized and i can move it back no this is larger than the other side now amazing thing is that we can edit this text as well for example i can delete this letter r so we have the ability to edit the text we can relocate the text we can move it however we like similarly this image so there are many clickable or editable areas where you can do editing so this is how you can extract images and edit them in pdf element and this pdf file was not created in this application i created this in another application not the pdf element but still i am able to edit the images and edit the text if i want to add some text i click on that and i click inside this area i can add my text and if i right click and click on properties again i have all the options i can change the font let's say to 35 and i can also select this and i can change the font then i can add an image let's say i insert this image and i can resize this so in this way i can also add external images to my pdf files then i can create links i can add a background and there is a possibility of bates numbers now bates numbers are unique identifiers and normally these numbers are used for very large documents by government organizations by hospitals and these kind of firms to make the documents easily searchable so in bates numbers you have a certain format for example let me click this and i click add bates numbers i click on this plus sign now normally bates number have three things a number in the middle something before that for example i put di dash something and then also a suffix something like hp so this should be specific to my organization so if you are working in an organization you might use some syntax specific to your company they might use a specific font a specific location for these numbers for example when i select this top the number appears here as you can see on the right hand side and if i am happy with that i simply click on save so this document now will become searchable with this number so let me close this then you can also add watermarks if i click add watermark then i can have three types of watermarks i can add any text i can extract from any pdf or i can extract from an image so if i click on text i can add any text something like that and as you can see it will appear here i can change the size i can change this proportion to let's say 80% and in this way i can add watermark to my document if it is very important document for example if i sell some pdf i can do that and if i click save it will be saved so this is how you can edit text and images in pdf element and now let me show you how we can convert a pdf to different formats for this purpose i will be using another file and this is a pdf file 
I want to edit this file. So I want to convert this to a Word document. To do that, I click on convert and to Word document. And let me save this on my desktop. Save. And uh, within one or two seconds, this conversion has been completed. Now I click open and double click on this file. And I click yes. And now the file is open in Word. As you can see that I can edit this and I can put whatever is the name of the company and I can prepare my invoice. So the workflow becomes extremely simple if you have the ability to convert from PDF to Word or Word to PDF, PDF to Excel, PDF to PowerPoint. And if you look here, we have all these conversions available in PDF element. Next up, we are going to compare PDF files as well as uh, merge PDF files or combining PDF files. So when I click on compare files, I see this dialog box. So on the left hand side, I have to select my first PDF file and I have designed these two files and those are only slightly different. So I select the first one, click open and then I select the second one and now I click compare. So it took around three to four seconds and now PDF element is comparing two PDF files side by side. And if I scroll down, I can see that there is some difference in this area. On the left hand side, there are only three points, while on the right hand side, the file contains an extra line. And there is also some formatting issues in the next paragraph. So in this way, you can quickly compare two files if you have made some changes in a large file. And now I want to show you how to combine PDF files. So I click on that. And now I have to add files. So I click on that, all the files, first file, then shift, last file, and I click open. It will insert all the files here. Now, as you can see that it has decided a sequence, the order in which the files will be combined, but we can change it. For example, if I want to change the position of this file, I hover over the left side and when I see this cross here, I can move this file to any position. And now this P07 is at page number three. But normally it is a good technique to put the page numbers in the order you want to combine the PDF files beforehand. And now I click on apply. It will ask me to give it a name, the final file which will be created. Let us give it a name, final file. And I'm saving it on my desktop. And within few seconds, two or three seconds, the file is created. And as you can see that this is the index of the catalog. And then we have this uh, file. And let us see how batch processing works. So I click on that and then I click on open files. And now I select, let's say, first five files and click open. And now I have to select a file format in which I want these files to be processed. So this is a batch of files, a set of files, and this will be processed simultaneously. For example, I can convert this to a PowerPoint file, or I can even convert this to a EPUB file, which is a format for eBooks. So I click on that and I click apply. And now these files have been converted into EPUB format files because desktop folder was selected by default. If you want, you can change the folder here. And let's say I want to convert this to PowerPoint files now. So I select this, let's say PPTX format, click apply. And now we have these five PowerPoint files. And as you can see that there are a lot of formats available for batch processing. And now we will see how OCR works. So I open a file. No, this is not a PDF document. This is a scan document. And now we want to use OCR, Optical Character Recognition Technology in PDF element to extract the text. And as soon as I open the file, the software knows that I might want to perform the OCR. So if I click on that, perform OCR, and I don't want to say because I have not made any changes. And I can select from these two options, editable text, or searchable text. So I would like to make the text editable. So I have selected this and now I click apply. And as you can see that the text has been 
extracted almost 100% correctly and this text is editable and if I click anywhere let's say I click here I can actually delete these words and I can retype those just like that for example I can remove this gap and make corrections but the text has been extracted successfully from a scanned file which is fantastic so let me close this as well I don't want to save it and now at the end let us see how much compression we can get from compressed PDF tool so I open another file and this is one of my files which is as you can see 21.7 MB I open this file and I click on tools and compress PDF now it will show me this dialog box there are three types of compressions available low compression high quality medium compression medium quality and high compression means low quality so in this case the file size will be reduced to a maximum but we want to check with the low compression if I click apply and it is showing me that my final file will only be 3.6 MB and if I select this one it shows me that now the compression is even more and if I use this one this will be the final file size so in most cases we should be using this and now I click open and now this is my compressed file of that size now I wanted to show you another very powerful feature of PDF element which is form building but the video is becoming too long so therefore I will make another video about how to make a form a fillable PDF form in PDF element so that is it for today I hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time